I I don't even know what we were doing. We were back in the room. Uh, You had pulled Sammy into the bedroom because she was drunk and she was over your shoulder. Uh, Slugga was way with her. mm -hmm. Slugga was banging some bitch. Oh yeah. Um, And then me and Alex were having a competition between Slugga and his female compatriot. Oh yes. I won by a lot. Slugga won. Yes, a lot being one point. Well, you know, it's a lot of pin-up bunny in that. (laughs) (laughs) You got Uh, a whole year without getting laid, Slugga. Of course you won. Yeah. Ah, yes, the performance checks of 15, 15, and dual 16s. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there they are! Yes! And I remember, I got that 100 as well on the D100 roll. Oh yeah, the bitch is pregnant, I forgot! That's not necessarily what it means. That's what I'm taking it as. And I'll either find out later. Aw man, I should have done a medical check on her to see what her uh, fertility was. Can you imagine two sixes, you, you, her, and the hundred? God damn. That is a fair point. She's having a litter. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's gonna come out multiple bunnies, not just a singular bunny. He'd finally have the family he wanted. One has the ears, the other has the tail. Right. Yeah, you know those uh those girls at casinos that dress up uh, uh like the, the bunny ladies? The Playboy bunnies, yeah. Yeah, your kids would only have to put on the outfit. They wouldn't have to put on the ears or the tail. That's good. Cause she's human, right? She wasn't a heron god. Yeah, she was human, I'm pretty sure. Could you imagine if they, like, had a human body, bunny ears, bunny tail, and Slugga's face? I don't think it'd work out like that. I don't know if the just, genetics are going to work like that. Just that dead stare. Black <laughs> eyes, little beads. Please, no, I've dealt with enough hybrids in RimWorld. All right, I've rolled my portents for the day. Uh, that's an interesting two numbers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hopefully, you don't have to rely on. Oh. I mean, oh, well, I, I mean, feel like being you... a dick. I have a lot of ammunition yeah. today. Uh oh. Yeah. Either that, or if you really, really just want to see some random NPC cry as they're trying to do something, and they just epically fucking fail at it. That'd be funny as shit. I and mean, if I wanted to see that, I'd just have to walk up and insult them. Yeah. So, Ganyeta and Sammy are shacked up. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there were only three rooms. All I'm doing is the is the thing that chicks do for each other when they're drunk, and that's hold the hair back when when they're throwing up. And hold her hair back for something, I'm sure. <laughs> Look, and Yeti, you don't have to keep arguing. We know that we've kept telling you to stop seducing people. And by we, I mean me. And by <laughs> me, I mean the player. And the character. <laughs> It's okay, same. Mom. It's been a year. You deserve to get laid, too. <laughs> I'm sure she has her hands full of trying to keep Sammy from sleeping with her father. Oh, Ooh. indeed. Yeah. And your mother. Yeah. She'd have to dig if that was the case. Dig. Her mom's dead. <laughs> no, no, no. Alex's mom. Ganyeta's dad, Alex's mom. That'd be an interesting combination. I mean, with the amount of necromancy happening in this campaign, it's not off the table. Ganyeta, stop looking at Irie. I didn't just give him an idea. (laughs) That's actually what I was doing. Uh, 
All right, just well, like that, we found out that Alex is able to see all of us. I have peered into the abyss. I am truly the divination mage. <laughs> She's stealing crisp off my desk. I regret nothing. <laughs> she found pretzel crisp at Costco. No. I must move them so I quit eating them. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, all right, Yin. You ready to get up for the day and kill Fox Love again? 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 Uh, Ophan stated that uh, Fox Club was still throwing in the parties in his uh, townhouse, right? Well, he did say that, didn't he? Well, either we haven't actually killed Fox Love, or someone's posing as Fox Love, or he has a misbegotten clone who must die as Genyeta demands that all architects meet an untimely demise. This yeah, I agree. You we should... smile and nod, and then agree with everything I say, yes. And I smile and nod, and I, yeah, yeah. Ah, now for that, you get breakfast. <laughs> Find your sister. Before she tries to seduce Ginyan or something. I attempt to go find my sister. Oh. Isn't Ari still gone? No. no. I'm I just attempt gonna... to find my sister. <laughs> Kanyeta is going to come out of the room and say, I don't think she's going anywhere today. She's she's passed out pretty good. I, I, I think she probably just needs to stay in the room and sleep it off today. Uh, what I... about... You You can try. Should, Alex, should, gives a, she Alex gives a coquettish nod and then uh, smiles like the first time. I think he's talking to you, Genyeda. It was definitely not my first time. And I point to my stomach. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was crunching and I didn't hear. <laughs> sorry. I will reiterate for your benefit. Alex looks at Genyeda. He not he smiles coquettishly and then he gives a nod first time. Oh. What? What, what are you? What? No, it's not. It wasn't like that. Do what, I need to go and to bed? check her? Well, yeah, I, we, I had to hold the hair back, you know. But anyway, I mean, go ahead and try. That's why there's vomit buckets everywhere. That's true. Truly, Magnamar is a city of decadence and excess. Speaking of which, I'm making breakfast. Has Alex ever pack? made? Yeah, has Alex ever made breakfast? Uh, I've made lunch, which nobody ate. Oh. I'll eat breakfast for sure. What was that about my pack, Harry? I said, what are you pulling out of your pack? You're going to cook. Uh, probably some dried meats, dry bread, cheese. Probably a couple eggs. Pickled? <laughs> no. I'd have bought these recently. So what would you all like to do today? Has Slugger made it out of the room? I don't know. I don't know how tired you'd be after a night like that. That's what sleeping is for. Yeah. I'm gonna say now. Uh, probably wasn't much sleeping happened last night. Not with that attitude. Casually glances at the D100 and that other D20 that also was a perfect. Oh well, no, that was just a 20. Never mind, that wasn't actually like a D20. Well, there was an awful lot of um, ruckus from uh, that other room there, so do you suppose we should just let them sleep or? Uh, no, no, I do not. <laughs> And I burst into the room. Saga! <laughs> <clears throat> well, he's still going at it. It's just slower. <laughs> <laughs> my God's man! And I cover my eyes. Saga! 
What? Alex is making breakfast! It's morning already? Yes. I could still keep going till lunch. Like... I guess I'll inform Alex, but also maybe not because we have to go kill somebody. Oh, right, yeah. Just a casually having a conversation while... <laughs> it's alright, she's passed out. He's just going at it. Oh anyway. my god, that's horrible! Oh no, Slugger would not be doing that. Slugger! <laughs> no. Put your morning wood away and eat breakfast, goddammit! <laughs> nah, it, it, nah, I... no. No. Yeah, odds are if she's asleep, he's asleep. That That's how that would have gone. Good news is, is having a fluffy thing right there is a good cuddle buddy, at least. So, her being asleep would mean that he was also asleep, so you probably would have just fucking woke the shit out of both of them, I would assume. Ah, uh, well. I will still... We'll just pretend that I was still closing my eyes, or covering my eyes, I don't have them closed. Just having this conversation obnoxiously he, loud he, he was doing it while he was asleep what what he was doing it while he was asleep i don't know why i just picture like you, you guys ever seen like a dog running in sleep hmm. just imagine like slugger humping the air while he's asleep <laughs> No, he's uh, light. What? He's light enough to be on top. What's that supposed to be? To be on top of what? Her. Oh, he's got two very soft pillows, is what you're telling me. Yeah, I we're saying. I think that what Slugga is saying is that he is not about to to bone the lady in her sleep. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, but he, he was doing it in his sleep, so it's not like it matters. I mean, it kind of does, but... It was a good dream until she woke you up. <laughs> I suppose so. So I'll just, like, groggily, like, lean up. Like, not fully wanting to get up because he's very comfortable where he is. He just kind of, like, slowly looks over and just goes, What do you mean, breakfast? Why are you waking me up this late? I mean, breakfast, eggs, whatever else Alex makes, because, you know, breath, you rodent. the just sun, the, room, I would be able to hear him. the sun has arisen. Do I have a window in this room? Probably. So like looks over to the window, sees the sun coming through, looks back over. Damn. Well, I'm gonna, like, with my eyes covered, like, awkwardly put my foot out and, like, reach with my foot to make sure I, that when I take my steps, I'm not running into anything. And then just start, like, doing that the whole way towards the bed and be like, does anybody require, like, some sort of medical attention from what happened last night? Jesus Christ, Slugga. Nah, I think we're good. Uh, have you seen my pants? They're not in here. Uh... And those are my nice pants. I'll, uh, shield my eyes and look around on the floor without having to look at Slugga. Do I see any pants? No. I don't see your undergarments or your outer garments. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, give me a moment. I'll, 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 we'll, we'll get up and we'll get some breakfast. I'm just gonna have to figure out. Wheel? Did I bring both my Is shoes? she joining us? Slugger, we can't afford another mouth to feed. I can easily afford another mouth to mead. Mead? Feed. Mead? <laughs> okay, look, I'm a little bit tired. All right. I'm a little bit sleepy. I would imagine so. Look, just come out and get food. I mean, we could use a hireling, but otherwise dinner is... I'm sorry, breakfast is ready. Yeah, hey, hey, Alex have you seen my pants? Yes. They're outside of your room, where you left them. Oh, could you toss those in here, please? I could. <laughs> All right, I, I walked out with Alex. 
I mean, if he wants to see my dick, I mean, him, him do him, I guess. But Sluggo will like slowly get up groggily and he's gonna try not to, oh my God, I forgot her name. What was her name? Just to make sure oh, everyone's God. hearing the door sound effects, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. good. God damn. It makes for good this, comedy. We haven't played this session in like three weeks and I forgot what her name is. No, like if you didn't notate it, you gotta, oh, that just goes along. It begins with a C, fuck, what is it? No, you gotta play with it now. You were drunk, you don't remember, you don't got the note, just start naming her C names. Oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, you know what? I do have notes, as a matter of fact. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a dig real quick. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now she's curled up with a pillow. Is she not wanting to get up, or...? Oh, she's asleep. She's ignoring you people. <laughs> I think right. that he was going to try to wake her up to see if she wanted breakfast. Is she ignoring yeah. him still? Yeah. She tries pulling Slugger back into the bed. Ooh. Spicy. As in, like, trying to get a hold of her warm cuddle thing again, I'm assuming. At least one part of him. <laughs> Lordy. Hey, hey, darling, it's breakfast time. Come on. Hey, I, I guarantee you're probably hungry. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit peckish myself. We can, uh, we can have a little bit more fun after breakfast. How's that sound? How's that sound, Ari? Well, she's just trying to get his attention because, you know, grabbing at him is not grabbing at arms. <laughs> ah. So if you're just going to sign, be like, all right, five more minutes. <laughs> be gone, Phil! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, at his heart, Slug is a people pleaser. In all manners of the sense. Lordy. So, we're gonna go ahead and say they uh, have five more minutes of a uh, quote unquote sleep. We put the asterisk before and after sleep to make it cursive, you know? Uh, oh my. But after that point, then he'll try to go ahead and get her on out of bed. Does Yun just sit breakfast. there and watch? Uh, no, oh, I walked wait. out with you. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought okay. she walked out and be like, that would have been awkward as shit. Yeah, no. Uh, bitch is aid. I guess that I would have looked at Yin while we're eating was essentially like a, a bread-laden omelet. So did you threaten to punch his shins? That usually works. Okay, so I got the name, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't think I spelled or know how to pronounce this correctly. It's like, con, con, cat. Don't say it, Ari. He doesn't remember. He was good, cause Slugga okay, was cool, drunk. Then. Perfect. So if Ari doesn't remember either, that means it doesn't matter. I can just say it's. Oh fuck! Was it Canadence? No, not. That's not how you pronounce that. Candence. Cadence. That might have been it. Ca Cadence. That's not how you. That's not how you spell Cadence. But if you look at the spelling of it just the right way, you could pronounce it like Cadence. Oh, right, because I made the fucking music not... joke about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's like I remembered. I just imagine him sitting in the bed cuddling with her and whatnot, trying to, like, just sit there feverishly, trying to remember how the fuck to say oh. her name. From what Aerie was describing, it didn't sound like cuddling that was happening. <laughs> well, still, could you imagine being distracted with whatever the fuck you're currently doing, trying to remember what her fucking name is for when you're done? Alrighty then. Nice of you to join us, Slugger. Breakfast has already gotten cold. You're welcome. <laughs> How has it already gotten cold? We were five minutes. Did you cook it? How long something? do you think five minutes is? It's almost noon. No, it is not. It has been five minutes. 
That is, ac that is accurate. My character is bullshitting with him. Ah. Uh, yeah, stop trying to... Is gaslighting a phrase they would use? Because they don't technically have gas. No. no, they don't have gas or lighting for that matter. Just magic. They do have, the word light is a word. <coughs> uh, I believe back in the day lighting? they would use the word manipulating. Otherwise, my character will probably look at the elusive C-named character. Ah, hello, Cynthia. Joining us? <laughs> Did we lose Ari? What happened? I'm not no, sure I was looking texting. something up. Ah. Alex, I don't think that it's... What did you call her? Cynthia? Yes? I don't think it's Cynthia. I think it's... I think it's... It's Look, if Charlie Simon here wanted us to know her name, she would have introduced herself more <laughs> rigorously to anyone other than Slugger. That's just rude. Darling, if you do want do to you remember her name? To yes, I do. I, I'll be honest, I did wake up a little bit slow, so I kind of forgot my own name for a half second, but we got it figured out. Alex looks at you, and that answer to that question is no. How are you doing, Ganyetta? Uh, fine. Uh, ju just ready to start the day, I, I guess. Hey, Alex. And I'll, I'll just, like, motion for him to come into a whisper. Alex I don't, lean over conspiratorially. Yes? I don't remember any time we've ever had relations changing either one of our accents. What happened to him? Is she, is she a magic user and she's like bewitched him or something? Oh, egregiously, she committed the most heinous and bewitching act a woman can do on a man, taking his virginity. So the accent thinks because I'm chewing gum right now. <laughs> that does not change my joke. <laughs> I know, I know, but I, once you said that, I was like, oh shit, I'm chewing gum right now. That That's why I sound different and I didn't even fucking notice. Sound all types of fucking country. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, that's literally just the thing that happens when I chew gum. Well, now he's a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> but, y'all making fun of me and I don't like it. And this is out of character, too, because that would make no sense. Even if we had a bar. Motherfucker sounded like the cheese. propane guy for a second. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> By the way, Dale's dead. Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. I am going for you. I can smell you. She'll be uh, collecting her clothes and shoes as she goes down the hall. She'll pat Slug on the butt and just head down the stairs. Lordy. That's, not staying for breakfast. And there she goes. Not a very yeah. talkative one, that one, is she? Yeah, I'll catch up with her later. She might have work or something to go do now I think about it. We didn't uh, spend too much time talking about personal lives, after all. Social life. God damn, I, now I'm listening for it, and all I can hear is my fucking southern accent coming through. Yup. And I, and I don't like it, but I'm going to keep chewing this gum, because the gum's good. All right, well. You should have tried the, hey, y'all, watch this, last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think this brings us to the most important order of the day. How are we pinning this on Sammy? Huh? Oh, what if? And Slugga, hear me out before you just jump down my throat and say no. All right. I don't plan on jumping down anyone's throat. Well, actually, I not anymore. Hers, but yeah, that all happened last night. That's over with. Anyway, hear me out, okay? What if we fuck with Sammy? Because apparently she is trashed. She is so drunk. I don't think she's going to leave that room today. What if we convince her that y'all slept together? As in she, Cinnamon, and Slugga? Or you, me, and her? And Yeda and her? Her and Slugga? Any of them. Any of them, that, so long as Slug is included. Her and Alphonse? Why is it so important for me to be included? Uh, because it would be hilarious.
I... I don't feel like you're gonna be able to convince her that easily. You said that, like, convincing is the biggest part. I mean, it kinda is. Well, you know, here. We could test it out. Let's see how convincing I can be. Hold on. Or, that? There it is. Or, or we could always, since she's passed out, we could always just take her to Slugga's room and she could find herself waking up in Slugga's bed. Oh, we could do I, that. That would help. That requires some steps I don't think we should be comfortable with. What? Well, here, let me, hold on, let me just tell you the story, okay, that I'm going to tell her, and will you tell me if you think it's convincing or not. I suppose. Okay. Oh my god, Sammy, what did you do? Why would you sleep with Slugga? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm off to the side. And after all those times that I was trying to seduce you, how dare you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that, that was pretty convincing, but I feel like you need a little bit more sustenance than that to the story. She'll be pretty drunk. I don't know if I'll need too much more sustenance. The, the Especially other... if we put her in your bed. Yeah, but see, here's the issue. It's, like... it's already sloppy. No, no, but here's the problem, and this is where I think we're going to have the trouble convincing is, y'all notice how me and my lovely lady friend woke up with no clothes on? Yes, you abandoned them before your bed. Yes. Usually you don't... Well, you should probably know this, Alex, but usually you don't put the clothes back on and then go back to bed. Unless it's really cold, I suppose, but nah, it was, it was pretty warm. I'm, I'm assuming it was warm last night. Maybe. Don't you know. don't know what state she's in. Ganeta's the one that put her to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose that's a good point. Who knows? Yeah, Maybe wow. she did that drunk thing where they're like, it's too hot. Well, you heard Yo. the minion. Give us the old strip and dip. Huh? I'll be in the kitchen cleaning up. I'll go help. Help with what? Help him clean. So what are you doing? Be in the middle of eating his food. Did you ask me what I'm doing? Yes. I was gonna help you clean. I thought you were trying to put your sister in Plugger's bed. You know, the sip and dip. He. Oh, right, right. And then I'll be back to help you clean if you're not done already. And then I'll go and get Sammy. Oh, don't worry about <laughs> that. Alex looks at what's left of the uh, the mess on the counter. Be gone, filth. <laughs> Prestidigitation for the win. Nah, see, every time he says that, all I can imagine is him prepping, like, just a fucking fatal backhand and literally just smacking the dirt away. <laughs> just be gone, filth. Slap. I mean, that could be my somatic component. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch slap the dirt so hard it leaves. <laughs> could you imagine if, like, somebody that was dirty walked up to him and he just bitch slapped the fuck out of him? Be gone, <laughs> That's on the table. <laughs> oh my god. And here's the weird part. I can do that, but I could instead make them filthy. So you'd be able to make them a dirty bitch. <laughs> And at that point, be gone filth as a verbal component just becomes an insult. So Ganyeta and Yen are going to prep her in the soggy bed? Yep. Oh, I don't like the fact you called it soggy. Ugh. Ugh. Look, there's a reason why I called this maneuver the strip and dip. Ugh. Saga, how'd you get Sammy pregnant? Apparently the bed was soggy. Ew. <laughs> Grody. 
Yeah. What the fuck is happening right now? A massive distraction from us killing Fox Snow. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? I feel like we've completely lost what this is why us coming here was. Supposed this is why we're still on book one. <laughs> Pretty I, much. I I thought we were coming here to deal with like a cult that was trying to kill you or some shit. Like yes, one we have very precious few leads on. Yeah, but how is Foxglove related? Wasn't he the guy that we did that boar hunt with a long time ago? What even? What? And then we killed him in his house. He was a ghoul, if you remember. I thought that he was, was the leader of the ghouls. Look, I'm gonna be honest, this is the reason why I don't like touching magic stuff. Because magic is confusing. And undead. Lots of things are confusing sometimes. <laughs> to be fair, I never got a proper education now that I think about it, so maybe that's a problem. Hey, you know what? Maybe I should go to school when we're done with all this. You got any good recommendations, Alex? You're a smart guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Care to share? Right now. <laughs> I would absolutely be keen to share. What is your price range? Yeah, like, well, it's going to depend what all the school offers and whatnot. It's like, if there's only a certain amount of criteria I'm looking for, then I won't necessarily need to pay that much. So, I mean, also, never paid for school before, so I don't know what what is a good price for schooling, anyways. Well, let's see, if you wanted to go into the Capital District or the Alabaster District, to, like, to say nothing of nows, for that is, uh, uh, expensive, uh, you're probably gonna be running by the price of, uh, 70 platinum. Oh. Fat. Uh, yeah, that, that, is that for, like, a full, like, Thing, or is that like a per what, what's it called a, a full education that, with custom tutors oh that's for like a full thing oh well, maybe i that'd be a little bit of saving though i wouldn't want to take a loan out alone either i, I heard uh, i should also remind you that you're also fairly educated in return to the layman as i have taught you how to read in multiple languages that is also fair I could become a linguist. No. Well, I could become a speech therapist. I would recommend against that course of action. We'll work on it. Uh, anyways, what? So, what? What is the actual plan for today? Because I need to stretch. A We're bit. going to investigate Fox the Love Townhouse. We're going to try all these keys that we picked up from his manner and then we're going to either a get inside and then confront whatever is inside or we're just going to leave if that doesn't work because heaven forbid we're going to let you try and pick a lock in the middle of the day well we'll just be sneakier Again. this time i've gotten better at being sneaky so we'll come back and then try it when it's at the twilight hours so i guess all right um uh, we know where his house is though right because i'm i'm familiar with sam point i'm i'm not Off familiar we go. with found here wait we, the other two aren't done yet the, the other two what slugger y'all y'all were doing something upstairs oh i walk out and uh dust off my hands and say done with what slugger <laughs> Well, that, apparently, and I guess you're done now. Yep, I dust off my, uh, my fancy dress that I think I'm still wearing. And, uh, start walking behind Alex. You'd only be wearing your fancy dress if you'd put it back on. Are you telling me that I'm naked right now? I don't know. He's saying that if you just put your clothes back on, then basically you're not armored and you're just wearing your fancy dress. Oh, then I'm putting my clothes back on. Yeah, I'm putting... I guess I'm putting normal gear on as well then, yeah. Ah, the joys of being a wizard. Where's your armor? Armor? I have a total 12 AC. I am good to go. 
I'm sure about that. Absolutely. All right, Voxels, how should we go? Here we go. Ah, the void. We meet again. Uh, Everyone, quick, is... stare into it. My last brain cells listen to the music of the void, and now I must dance. Actually, this is kind of where I expect Foxglove to live at this point, just in a big, dark, black hole. At the very least, that's where I thought we sent him. There's not like two of them, are there? It's not like a, like a twin or something. We're, about we're to not find out. sure. That's or why the we're investigating. The killed, Does that mean that we technically committed a crime? I don't know. Well, nah. The person we took care of was a bad person. And Against whom? Was killing people. Huh? The question was asked. Did we technically commit a crime? And I asked, against whom? This is a nice little place. You know, I guess I guess you're right. It was a ghoul, after all. So it wasn't just outright murder. You're right. And if anything, it was a mercy killing. Now then... <coughs> is there no... How long light does this spell this last? Up to a minute. <laughs> Poppycock. Alright. Should we knock? Or just go in? Let's just knock. Yeah, it's not dark out right now, is it, by the way? Because I can't see past this point or this point when I'm standing right next to it. Those are just walls and blocked off. You can't see through it. No, no, no. That, that's, that's just shadow. There's... There's nothing. Yeah, you have a light source on you. And the whole map start. Oh. So, if we knock on the door, does anything happen? Does anybody, any servants or something, come to the door? It's not letting me place a light. Darn. We broke it. That is roll 20. Why am, I, why am I surprised? When did you say that we were switching to the other one? Oh, there we go. Or were we not? Uh, that's what I was telling them. We, uh, I have to make up my mind what I really want to do. Gotcha. The thing is... How invested are we in keeping on this one for the next four books or switching to another one or whatever? Yeah, I don't know if I, if any of us really know the answer to that without knowing what it's like on the other one. Yeah. If we could do maybe one session on the other one, then I'm sure it would give us a pretty good idea of how it would work. Oh, I have the uh, beginner's box. Right now it's loaded vanilla, but I probably should upload it to a server instead of trying to self-host it. Mm hmm then I don't have to start messing with the router and all that other mess. <gasps> Mom, remind me to tell you something after the session today. Okay. It's important. Okay. So, there is a door near Ganeta, but it's like a fence gate door. A fence. Oh, I got you, I got you. 
Yeah, there's like a stone wall. Like you guys are beside the stone wall right now. The stuff to your east is actually stories of the building. Ah, okay. So, the townhouse is at least three stories tall. Uh, there is an outbuilding in one corner. Uh, and the gates, if you go, can get past the gates, it goes up to a set of double doors. Huh, if we play our cards right, we can probably just squat in here for a couple of days. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, we could. All right, well, uh, was Ganyeta's knocking answered at all? No, not out here. Well, might as well try the door. It appears to be open. I'm going to open the door. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Should Out I step character. in? That is the most white girl in a horror movie thing I've ever heard mom say. <laughs> Alex puts his hand to his uh, mouth and then says facetiously, Crypt keeping! <laughs> How come I can't go? Oh, there we go. So what are we seeing? Or can you see anything? Uh, I see, see rock. The, the greater part of this courtyard, this uh, pathway that's not revealed. The doors. Yeah. yeah, there's two doors to the south. There is the outbuilding to Ganyetta's west. So what do you want to do? All right. Alex is going to cast Detect Thoughts. And then he's going to begin walking up on the door. Alex is going to knock. Hello? Uh, you'll hear a lady's voice go, one moment. Oh, how fucking funny would it be if it turned out it was... <laughs> if it turned out it was Slugger's lady friend from the night prior. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean, God. I mean, then she would, she would have, yeah, yeah, then she would have to die. No. And then your hundred roll on a D one hundred would be solved. The double murder. Oh. <laughs> Abortion in modern day. Current modern day, not real life modern day. Well, for the people who don't get proper doctors, unfortunately, that is sometimes how it goes. Mm. Yeah. One, two, seven, three. We're on a depressing topic, you see. God, this description is way too long. I require more gum. Yeah, that's what's... what I was reading. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just like, what's that? The ability to mute, read minds is far too powerful to give a character? Well, let's just make it incredibly limited. Let's yeah, also just minds. make it so long that you don't want to read it. It's like the terms and conditions. You offer up your firstborn in order to hear their thoughts. You offered up your firstborn? What? Huh? Yeah, that's my running joke with terms and conditions, because nobody ever, like, reads them. Because mm. they're too long. I joke with my customers at work, and I just say, yeah, I can't tell you how many firstborns I've agreed to let go. Alex, a Yisha foxglove is standing in front of you. Wait, the dead ghost lady at the other one? Mm-hmm. Do we recognize her from the... Yeah, that was one of the pictures, right? we see her? Oh. Hey. How are you? Can I help you? Aren't you... Dead? Uh, I I was not <laughs> going to finish my sentence, but I guess Ganyeda did. 
if her surface thoughts ever turn particularly spicy or notable, let me know. But otherwise, my character is just going to look at what apparently is Aisha Foxglove and just say, excuse the peanut gallery, they uh, they appear to have seen a ghost of some description. Is uh, Aldern Foxglove available? Oh, yes, he's fixing breakfast. Would you come in? Certainly. Kenyatta, is this a custom of men that if they get laid really well, they make breakfast the next day? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, I didn't make breakfast. I guess, to be fair, I was the one doing the laying and not getting laid. But, uh... Alex reaches over his, uh, or turns over his head and, just look and yells back, No! <laughs> I just saw a child go dashing across the gap in the doorway. What the fuck was that? Just, voom. I'm pretty sure that was Fox Club. <laughs> oh, it looked like a kid for a second. Honey, this gentleman's here to see you. Yeah, that's the boar hunting guy. But that, that doesn't look like the guy we... The ghoul? It was a ghoul. I think I'm... It didn't look like I anything. I don't know, are you? Good question. Should I roll for that? He said, "Good question. Should I roll for that?" <laughs> <Eat cats. laughs> well, I'll—I'll I'll be honest. I am legitimately confused right now. That's why I'm saying, like, my. Missing... We're all confused. We okay. all thought we killed Foxglove and that his wife was dead. Unless it was like a. She was 100% a wraith. And attempting to kill her apparently forlorn to be husband. Not and Alex, husband. What, what you got when you were just looking at her when she opened the door, mm -hmm. she, she, when she saw the group of you, there's almost a, a relief and an excitement at seeing you. Okay. I have many questions. You get something very similar from Fox. Uh, he said, yes, how, how can I help you? Fox Glove is a live and breathe. It's significantly confusing to see you within the flesh, considering what I found at your manor. But it's nonetheless good to see that you're not that you're apparently alive and well, as is your betrothed. My character looks at Aisha, uh, er, Aisha Fox Glove? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Why would I not be hale and hearty? Oh, there was a creature uttering your guise, attempting to uh, make a fool of yourself and your entire house. Basically demons. I am just constantly staring at Aisha in disbelief that she is not a wraith right now. I would also I'm, like to uh, directly probe into Foxglove. Alright, so he has to make a save. Hey, you remember that one? For your that one what, Slugger? For the portent he has? I he sure do, it? and I could certainly use it, but uh, you know what I'm going to use instead? I'm going to make him roll a 9. Oh, yeah, I forgot you had a 9, too. Wait, you saw that roll? I thought I did that a G roll. Whatever. One of them went through one way, one of them went through the other. Oh, my eyes are just going bad. I thought that was eh. a 9. That's a 1. Should maybe we wait to assign the nine to him until after we know what he rolled? Well, technically how Portman is supposed to work is I'm supposed to do it before he ever has a chance to roll in the first place. But oh. I mean, I've been getting away with it a lot and I'm trying to, like, you know, be sensible here. I don't even know if Irie's already rolled for him yet, but uh, considering the long pause it's been, I believe he's trying to look for what information... Whatever this fox glove is uh, essentially privy to. Okay. 
Also, good heavens, yes. I'm in a poor, very poor tactical position right now. Ah. You get the feeling that he is very glad to see you. Strange. Especially considering my lessons. Like? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take even a... A, a excited to see you. Even that yeah. is more concerning. Well, in a malicious way, because evidently something will be complete soon. Oh gosh! Oh good, he's going to carve up my heart and then tear off my face. Especially considering the context of my last question. <laughs> or statement. So I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say there was some kind of, like, <coughs> imposter syndrome thing going on back at the manor? Maybe? Well, I'm certainly not gonna have this conversation out of character, that's for sure. Yeah, I am still perplex perplexedly going to be looking at Aisha and I'm going to lean up and put my hand on Alex's shoulder to whisper to him what's going on and then I'm going to cast bark skin on him well, preemptively before you, before you get to do that hold on yeah and I don't think bark skin works on ghosts was that an illusion There's a there's a corner blocking the way, but I'm presuming there's something spooky right there because I can see half the picture. What the oh. f is that a rat? What the fuck is that? Is that a fucking rat? Why are you playing musical chairs? Why is everybody moving around? Dance, 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 and you. Well, that's where she was over there. Um, let's see if I can show you. All right, let me just look at my reactions real quick and let me realize that I don't have shield right this current turn time and moment. Also, why do I not get to cast bark skin first since I said it before you did anything? Well, I was actually trying to do something at the time. Uh, oh. Alex, as is, is you're reading his thoughts, mm -hmm. you see them change in yeah. front of you. Into rats. No. This is not I'm going to assume we're in combat initiative. Yeah, y'all can roll. And I posted a picture in game discussion. That's what's right in front of you now. Oh, the fuck is that? And I got my advantage from quick. Oh! Be sure to have your uh, self-targeted. I did, but motherfucker, that was an 18. Nope, nope, it got the 27. Okay. I am exactly where I belong. <laughs> we always knew you were a power bottom. Get it? it? Seems accurate enough to me. Okay, everybody, bye. I'll be honest, that picture doesn't clarify anything at all what this thing is. Well, it, it just sh like shifted rat. in front of us, so it's some form of malignant change thing. Is... So... What's Aisha doing? Is she also changing? Yes. The one in front of me was Aisha. Oh. The one in the back was Foxglove. Mine is, so I still go first over the other... Whatever the... I still think because you're on the other side, Mom, and they're in a uh, different room. Ah. Uh. Uh, so Yin needs to be on the tracker. Oh, I forgot to click my character. My bad. I'll click again real quick and do it again. Oh wait click there and this and then there we go can I have that one instead 
It was a six before. <coughs> All right, Slugger. Um, you can tell something's happening. The person in front of the female in front of Alex turns into some faceless strange creature ah what is this a closet no too big you all are more than willing and capable of you know rolling checks to find out <laughs> is that all gonna right, be our I, action what would i roll for that I'm going to assume it's something I don't have good bonuses in. Is it the messy fish cat? No, fish in the corner. I think we killed him. The hell's a malfish in a corner? I'm talking about the messy fish cat. Yeah, malfish in a corner. That's what you keep referring to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to kill Slugger, now would be the time, I guess. <laughs> so I can see this thing right here, right? Yeah, like I said, you can see it in front of Alex. You could see it change into something else. I, I have the looking... feeling that's not friendly. Well, it's time to decide, Slugger. Did you wake up and choose violence today? Oh, I woke up and chose tactics. So, very first thing is, is Slugger's just going to basically just, like, stare at the creature right in front of you. His eyes are going to do that little weird freaky thing he does. And he's going to go ahead and cast command. That's not the right spell save, you see. That should be a 14, not a 13. I don't know, it calculates off your... Yeah, my... Wait, no, I think our slug has always voice. had a weird issue with his character sheet because of some item he has. Because the thing is, is it's using wisdom, and my wisdom score is 16. Which is a plus 3? Plus. Yeah, so my spell save DC should be 14. Why? Oh. Do I have something else that... So in one place it says 14, in some place, and on this it's saying 13. Can I... Don't you have, like, a ring or some shit that was making That's it... That's what I was thinking. It's an item, but not... I've forgotten what fucking item it is. Uh... Yeah, I know that we tried to fix that, but Aerie couldn't, like, find it or some shit. Well, we got the magic cloak. We got that ring of jumping. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um... Magic cloak, but that's a plus one to save and plus one to AC. Why does it say fourteen here but thirteen there? Hold on, I'll I'll it it passed. Well damn. Alright, so what was your plan? Plan? that is not the end of my turn though. The command was gonna be uh grovel. Have him go prone. So what would you like to do now? So, we're going to go ahead and use cunning action to hide. And we're going to do some sneaky stuff, because I have noticed a door, and I'm going to use this door. So we're going to go ahead and do our little bitty of stealth. Well, you're, you're standing in, basically, in front of them. So once you well, move to where you can't be yeah, easily so seen... Yeah. Basically, he was gonna like duck away quickly around the corner, kind of thing. That's what I was. Then you would stealth, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, should there be light in these halls, by the way, or is it like completely pitch black in here? Because the lighting's still acting a little bit janky. Uh, 
for the most part, there wasn't lighting in where you're at. The lighting was coming in through the windows. Let me add some more lights. You should be able to see at least a little... Well, I don't know where you're at now, actually. Um, but I've got light on me. Well, yeah, no, it's just there's literally... I don't know if it's just because of the room's placement or something or where the lights are outside, but there is no light in this room. I didn't notice the first time because you were coming through with us, so I just kind of assumed the room was at least had light coming in from the outside. Gotcha. Things being irritating tonight. I'm gonna refresh. lights any better? Yep, that's good. Oh no, what happened to the initiative tracker? It's gone. Like a fire oh, in the wind. Is. Okay, you done, Slugger? Yes. Hiding behind the chair. I kind of figured that'd be the concern of <laughs> him possibly opening the door. I didn't know if he was going to focus here, and I'm like, that's why I did the stealth. So I figured, hey, when I come over here, I'll be hiding or something. So we'll see if he can see me. Probably not, but I'll roll it. Oh, if he beats a 28, I'm going to cry. No. You wouldn't hit a man who just had premarital sex, would you? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I should use that defense. It'll probably work for me. All 
All right, let's hear it. How bad did he get wonked? He pulls back and swings at you, Alex, with a long sword. Uh-oh. You have an AC of 12, you said? Yep. You take six. <gasps> To be fair, I was expecting that to be much worse. Well, since I finally have a chance to do this, I declare silvery barbs. Roll again. Alrighty. He still hits me, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, even better. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he takes a lower roll, so if you got a crit, it doesn't count. I guess that'll be my silvery barb. You wouldn't hit a man who had premarital sex with you. Oh! <laughs> I think you would. Because this time it would be nine damage. <laughs> yeah, nah, but you take the lower roll, so. All right, concentration check. Well, there goes uh, detect thoughts. It was nice for all two rounds it lasted. All right, Ganyetta, you're up. What's that thing I was using? Actually, hold on one second. Make sure of his movement speed. Yeah, okay. Ow. Oh. Okay, Ganyetta. Uh, 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 uh. You don't know where the uh, young lady went, but something came down the same hallway you did. It looks like <coughs> strange faceless beast with a long sword. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, for silvery barbs, I also give Ganyetta advantage. It's time to beat the meat. Ew. Ew. You <laughs> don't like tenderize. I, she might be standing there confused. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna move over here, and I'm gonna say. Hey, hey you! No premarital sex here! And... I think... <laughs> I can't remember what spell it was that I was using before. Smite? It was... no, there was... anyway. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna cast Branding Smite. On... on this guy. I think you need to hit him first. Oh, that's we true. My my goal is to <laughs> You have advantage on the first attack. Yeah, true. Do I hit cast? So I, do. I think I think you do attack first and then you hit the cast if I remember correctly for the smites. Because I don't think you declare the smite until after you hit, right? Basically. That... Yeah, because you have it's basically like if you don't hit, then you don't get to. Then it doesn't take away one of your spell slots as a paladin, which I, is something I'm, I'm learning from Baldur's Gate. Funnily enough, are you playing Baldur's Gate three? I literally just got it because I was like, "Eh, fuck it." I've seen so many people on my friends list playing it. Yo, you need to add me. Is there multiplayer? There is multiplayer. There up be. to four people. Oh, Spoon, you got Baldur's Gate? Nope. <laughs> I just know that's a game made by Larian, which has had like the last two Divinity games had uh, multiplayer. Yeah. With the sword. Oh, apparently there's a mod out now that you can play like uh, up to sixteen multiplayer. Because the goblins needed that in their lives, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mod where you can play naked too. Oh my! Probably. Sure, oh, no. there is, but you don't need to play naked, considering the fact that you could literally just, like, you know, fuck whoever. I mean, you have and advantage. You might as well roll to see if you crit. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Do I need. To... Sorry. Do I. 
Wait, why didn't that change? Okay, sorry. Fine. Why didn't it change? Why didn't what change? All you have to do is roll one more time. Oh. <laughs> oh well. There you go. It's still higher. Almost. What are your damage? But I, but, but I wanted to cast on him. Okay. Sure. Well, declare your smite, but you still do damage with your weapon. Okay. So should I roll my damage first? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, okay. you roll damage first, and then you'll roll damage first, Mike. That won't not work. That one says Bane. Yep, that's not what I meant to do. Give you your point back if you spin it. What? It... If you spend a point for that bane, give yourself the ba the point back. That's right. Look I, it I up. Forgot, kind of I forgot the thing that it was is. that it was keeping track of that. <laughs> oh wait, do I have to cast first? No, you hit with your weapon. It should do the smite automatically. Yeah, you just had to get rid of one of your spells. Okay. The other creature goes. And shit, it's broken. Hold on. <laughs> so, did I get my bark skin out before all of this or no? No. Oh, no. Okay. I just needed to make sure if I needed to give myself my spell slot back. You. You wouldn't take a taken man from both ends, would you? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm getting hit because you're saying these things at this point. <laughs> the statistics say that if you say something in the same way twice and you get hit both times... The odds are only getting worse and worse for if you say it a third time. But right, he's a local. <laughs> well, following politics has taught me anything is the statistics are dumb. Yeah, these this token's broke, so I'll have to keep hit point tracks manually. Anyways. Uh this one also smacks you with a sword. Oh, why? Take another 10. Oh, wait! Oh, wait? Oh, wait, what? Magic? No, 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 no. And I don't think Alex's token is updating, so I fixed it. I mean, to be fair, I should have a total of 26 hit points, so... We haven't touched it in so long that it's, like, upset at us, so it's fucking with us on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you for not showing up for three weeks! <laughs> to be fair, definitely, they did have a couple updates, I noticed. Like, the turn order thing, like, that has the new count system and the sorting system on it, so... Alrighty. Ian? You can cast your bark skin. Although, Alex does look a little worse for the wear. Yeah. Um... D8. You're still gonna have 26. 
You have eight. I could do this at second level and be fine. Uh, this one. I, th I think this is going to do what I want it to do. I'm going to touch him. And give him back 14. 14 children? Mm, oh, fuck, I hope not. We're working on it. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like I might have y'all beat. Does that put you at 24? Yes. Also, it's like a bastard don't count. I would know. Anything else, Ian? Um, I don't think I have any bonus action. And I can't move. Okay, Alex. Uh, Arcana? No, fuck that. I want to try and push him. This one. I think you already used your action. Isn't pushing, isn't shoving a bonus? Shove is an action. Is it? I think it's only a bonus for like a barbarian or something. Uh, I think monk, I a monk's upset also has that as well. Uh, 27. It's a faceless stalker. Similar to like a doppelganger. Alex is going to clutch at his recently wounded side. He's going to pint point at the uh, faceless stalker in front of him. Your hospitality is lacking. And I find you as hideous as your depraved faceless form. And I take my leave of you. Disengage action. Walk here. Okay. My turn is over. We're back to Slugger. Alright, Slugger's gonna sneak back around this corner here. And he's going to do his just little, his little rat bastard shit of, ooh, actually I can see right here. Without moving around the doorway, can I peek around this corner real quick just to see where specifically, because I can see there's one here, but I want to see where the other one's sitting at just to kind of give it like a little sneak. Well, you knew it was in the doorway. So the when other you, one's like when here? You moved. Yeah, because ah, okay. it was right in front of Alex when you moved. So I'm going to sneak around, because obviously its attention was towards Alex and everything. We're going to sneak around. And it's sneak attack stabbing time! So we're going to start off with the Vajajaja. Which gets advantage from the sneak, or the stealth, I mean, right? Yeah. So that is a 24. Okay. I'm assuming that hits. Yep. Okay, that's what really said, if you said not. And we'll go ahead and toss in that sneak attack damage as well. Oh, fuck, I'm at a 3d6 now, aren't I? Ooh. So there's an... And if it is not dead yet, don't worry. We've got one more rapier for stabbing. It's not dead. It will be soon. Oh, do I still get the advantage from stealth, or does that immediately end, even though these attacks are happening right next to each other? No, that would have been on your first one. And the second one doesn't hit. Sadness. Eh, oh well. See, the good thing about the foundry, it automates a lot of this shit. I'll bet. <laughs> Alright, well, I do believe that is my check. Like, where you roll damage and stuff, I all I have to do after you roll damage is there'll be buttons under it and I can click, you know, whether it's full damage or critical damage or half damage from a save or whatever, and it automatically applies. Oh. Alright, we have... One. 
doesn't like where he's at. So, Ganyetsu, you want your AOO? Sure. Do wait. Do I just do a regular attack? Yep. Two kids gone die tonight! Oh, you hit. You're rolling oh. well. Oh. Except when it counts. Shlonk them, George. Well, since you're using the shield, you're not getting the, the two-handed for that mm. axe. And... It's gonna try going after again. Stop it. Does a 27 hit? Take five, Ian. All right, you heard him. We're taking a break. Yeah. I'm glad <laughs> they are rolling poorly for damage. I'll bet. Indeed. Kanyeta, what would you like to do now? I'm going to move up just a little bit. Is this door open so I can see this other guy too? Yep. Mm. And if I move up one more, um, then Slugger will be flanking, flanking right? Okay. But I'm still going to try to hit this guy. Okay. Ah! That hits. Really? <laughs> oh, doke. If you have a second attack, yes. Do you have two I attacks? I, I believe she does. Yes, I'm trying to make her read her sheet. <laughs> I remember so little. I've, I've had a I've had a long month. Extra attack. You can attack twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Oh no. Well, that would be a crit. <laughs> and Ganyeta has savage criticals because she's a half orc. Do I have to change anything to the. Well, anyway. Do I just. Uh, roll. Instead of rolling it in D&D Beyond, click on that red tag. Oh, that's right. That's what I was doing. There we go. And Ganyeta also gets an additional damage ice because she's a half orc and she rolled a critical. Ah. Let's roll another d8. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. Oh no? 24 damage. His pen is out. His pencil is out. He's 22. doing math. 22? Yeah, because 6 and 4 is... Oh yeah, I am the dumb. Never mind. I am the dumb. <laughs> it's the heat. Blame the heat. Curse you, mild temperatures. You foiled me again. <laughs> mild? This one will actually turn and swing at Slugga. Since Slugga's not wearing plate mail. But he will miss. What's your AC? It is 17. Because your character's out of date too. And how many hit points do you have? 39. Minus eight. <laughs> well, guess what? Uncanny dodge. I'm only taking four. Mm. 
instead of it being a big hurry, it's just kind of a slight skimming. Taking a little off the top, as they say. All right, Ian, you're up. Okay. Run! Uh, no. <laughs> I am going to oh. pass out from holding your breath. No. Uh. Okay. Did you get to move stores? What? Did you get to move to a new store? Not yet. That's in January. Although they're supposed to be splitting me between stores um, soon. Wouldn't it be hard to move with only you know one leg at each store? A little bit. I'm going to do the coiling grasp tattoo. Um, they have to make a DC 14 strength or dexterity check. Uh, the one in front of me. Crit success. Gross. Bugger. Well, hey, he wasted a crit. <laughs> Fair. A crit. Uh... Styling on the players is never wasted. That's a ranged attack, so... I am back to not being able to do anything. That's my turn. Alex? Alex is going to walk over here. He's going to look at the horribly misshapen creature that is currently penned in by both of the ladies, and he is going to upcast Witch Bolt at third level. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Is that the one that looks really bad, or the other one? Uh, he's going to cast it at this one. Oh, oh, he fucking dead, Tony. Now I don't even have to add that one up. <laughs> that wow, that's, uh, I didn't even know which bulk could crit. Yep. All right, well, ever, ladies and gentlemen, uh, prepare for me to never do that ever again. <laughs> All right, Slugger, you up. Yay! Flanking stabbing time. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep it nice and simple. The tactics are done for. Now it's just time for stab. We're getting advantage because it's being flanked by our good old friend Gan. So that's a twenty-four again, which hit last time. Damage wise is six. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with that sneak attacker for another sixteen. Nice. Gad slugger. What did we feed you? You, It's not what you fed me. It's what I was able to do. He got laid. Yeah, it'd be, uh, you wouldn't believe the level of... Oh. I mean, considering his weapon choice, that isn't the only thing he's penetrating right now. Oh, good morning. It's still up. I don't have any premarital puns what's here. What's still up? Getting penetrated. And there's another, the second attack from, what's it called... With 25 to hit, another 8 piercing. It got stabbed. Is she dead yet? Okay. Nope. Ganyeta? All the game with a plan. She can do it, we believe. You have advantage on this. Smash him. Or slash him, because you have an axe. Are you are you sure you're not dead yet? Have you rolled damage? Yes, yes it is. Now, how is it that we fought that guy once, and now we're fighting him again? 
What, what, is there an explanation for that? Uh, a decidedly important investigation is that, well, first of all, Yun? Yes. Yin. Yes. Alex cups her cheek with both of his hands. I never, ever want to hear you misunderstand when I say that things that shapeshift are weird and feared by everyone. Ever again. Okay. Because what we just bought are called... What were they called, Irie? Like, faceless changes? Faceless stalkers. Faceless stalkers. They're like changelings, but malicious arseholes. They're okay. hairless, leathery, biped. Their face is dominated by a grotesque and unsettling whirls and slits instead of actual features. Yeah, but why would they be here? Well, uh, evidently they thought something was coming to fruition because they saw me, which I can only assure you that I am just wholly happy about. That is a lie. I know how you two all tend to take misappropriations. Should we look around and see if we can find any other uh, hints as to what it is that they they were so uh, pleased about? Alex turns from Ganyeda to Yin, who he's still cupping the cheek of. Yin? Yes? Hug Ganyeda. I'll hug Ganyeda. No. Yes, let us do you that, are... incidentally. Yin, thank you for making sure my organs don't spill out. That was very kind of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. you're, you're welcome. I am. All right. Let's begin investigating. I'm going to cast Detect Magic as a spell, not a ritual. Investigating. <laughs> what exactly are we looking for? Just clues to what's going on, I'm guessing? Well, Fox Love was inherently linked with this, and now apparently he had some form of heinous changeling body double. So, signs point to us wanting to look around would likely be high. Good point. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, you bye! Went you went upstairs. No, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to... Well, when you started climbing stairs, I moved you. Oh. First things first, let's check the bathroom. I'm going to think better of it and go back downstairs. <laughs> Clear the first oh, door first. I just realized I'm probably not the person to be doing investigation right now. But I won't. Alright, Irie, right. if I ever detect any magical signatures, feel free to let me know. Just delete it, it's frustrating. Delete what? The wall was in the wrong spot. Okay, Ganya, so you're on the second floor. You can see two doors and another set of stairs across from you. And then a hallway to the north. I'm going to sneak back downstairs. Hopefully nobody heard me. I don't know that there's anybody in here. Go ahead and roll here. your stealth, then. Oh, man. Since she went clomp, 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 going the way up the stairs. That's true. That's true. Wait, where is it? Oh, oh no. What did she do? Uh, there's a bathroom off the kitchen. 
Uh, that's what Alex would probably find. What did I find? I'm assuming you're the one that opened the door, so there's a bathroom. Hmm. Egads, look at all of this filth. Where would you like to go, Slugger? Well, I was trying to check that bathroom, but I rolled a 12, so I figure I probably didn't find jack shit in there earlier. Um, I might have found shit, not necessarily jacks. Yeah, I guess we'll <laughs> take a look what's in this room. I mean, what, what's up in here? Oh, we got more jank lighting. Uh oh. I rolled a natural one in here for investigation. Uh, it's like a library slugger. Ooh. This is or a, a place, study. This is a place I should not be investigating in because I won't find anything. I will still try, but that's a lot of books. <laughs> and I know there's somebody who's a lot better with books than me, but I'll still see if I find anything like just out in the open. No. Hey, uh, Alex. Hey. Yes. There's a library over here. And I know I'm probably not going to find anything, but I searched anyways, but you're a lot better with books than I am, so you'd probably actually be able to read through these rather quick to see if there's anything important. I'll be honest, it's going to take me a while. How and dare I... you say to take me in that manner? I'm on my way. <laughs> okay. So you're <laughs> just looking around the uh, foyer area, Ian? Yeah, but I rolled a nat one. I don't see shit. Let me know if your investigation check is called for. I'll go upstairs. But I'll I'll just call out. I didn't see anything in here, and then I'll go upstairs with mom. So what you doing, Ganyetta? Be very very quiet. So, I, I guess that I crouch. <laughs> Should I peek around the corner? Clomp, clomp, clomp. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Well, there's a hallway. And much to my surprise, there are four doors here. And stairways up again. What do you want to do? I'm going to go down the hall. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Oop. That's a bedroom. Do I see anything at this desk? Nope. Okay. But the bed was used. I mean, is there anything gross in it? No, like, like but you something. figure whatever that thing was was probably using the bed. Huh? This room's a little bit bigger, another bedroom, but same deal. What are you doing, Yin? I'm... Guess I am... Oh, I was too zoomed in. I was like, I don't see myself. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um... Oh, it's this way. Is it this way? No. This way? It's this way. Okay. Uh, I will go over here and I will peek around this corner. Is there... It's another set of stairs? I said peek, not go! No, you're peeking. Oh. So, Ganyetta, what are you doing? Or, no, Slugger. Oh, we'll sorry. go to Slugger. Oh, okay. So, let's see here. Backdoor Boudoirs 4, Tavern Tarts 2, Caddy Cakes is 9, Used, Abused, and Magically Infused, The Legend so of the Red Bean, Stop Reading This Especially You. 
So <laughs> I can't see the button for the door here because of the lighting, but can you can you pop open that door real quick so I can check in here? Thank you. Uh, we're gonna what what is this? It's like a sunroom. Oh. I guess we'll check around. I, it's a pretty empty room, so I would imagine I'm not gonna find much. No, you're just finding your normal household stuff. Okay, hey, Alex, so you gonna stay in the library or are you gonna move on? Did I find anything in the library? Books. Not no. particularly your taste, but not your sisters. I mean half of these are written by my sister. But if I didn't find anything particularly interesting, I guess I'll just move on. Getting a private message now. Okay. So, is there anything in this room? It looks like some kind of sauna. It's like a sun room. Okay. You kind of figure that's probably where they were, you know, do breakfast or whatever. How dare they? Such insidious creatures enjoying breaking of fasts. All right. I guess I'm going upstairs. Ganyetta. I'm going to take a deep breath and open the door. Open the doors and walk in. What uh, do another, I see? Another study. Oh, there's books here too. Do I see anything amongst the books of interest? There's some, probably some trash porn novels for you. Oh, more of this. Well, I guess that's that. And I guess I'm going to head up the stairs as well. Okay, Yen, what are you doing? Uh, I am going to step in here. Uh, you see, like, a sitting area below you with a fireplace, and then three doors to the north, one to the east. I'm going to look back at Ganyita dejectedly and do a deep sigh. Doors. <laughs> so many doors. <laughs> What I don't under what I don't understand is it looks like the beds were used like and and everything else seems to indicate like a normal sort of house. I guess uh, you guess what? Well, I was I was just thinking that the only thing we hadn't looked at was the outbuilding. Also, we haven't finished this floor, so... Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just going to step out of the way of the stairs so that Ganyeta can come up here with me because I'm not about to open these doors by myself. Okay. Slugo, what do you want to do? Well, I feel like we've searched everything down on the bottom floor, so I guess heading upstairs as well. Floor? Alex, some more of your sister's books, other books, but, you know, still nothing to your real taste. Okay, let's see. The Injection Infection, Assimilating Asimar, The Doing It Disease, The Tavern Tumble, The Change of My Life. Nothing of interest here. Before anybody asks, yes, I am just coming up with these, these titles on the spot. <laughs> I, I assumed, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say The Doing It Disease. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to find one that's just called, like, The Rabbit's Last Hurrah, and Slugger just being sitting there like, Hold on a fucking second. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's more akin to more of her recent literature, as you, I'm sure you really know. By the way, what's the state of the beds in these rooms? Uh, used recently? Huh. Okay.
I'm gonna cast message on Genyeda. Genyeda, yeah, everything good up there? I'm gonna, uh, hearing the voice in my head, I'm just gonna holler out. Everything looks pretty normal up here. I, I don't, I'm not sure what to, I, this is not what I was expecting. As Alex is walking up the steps, he'll basically bolt basically say to in close proximity, I assume, to Yin, wherever she is in this map. Yes, well, I wasn't expecting an entire bourgeois full of my citizens' literature either. You are now faced by three doors. Two to the north, one to the east. Ah, uh, yes, true. This is only a manor that could be attributed to Foxglove. There's too many doors. What's with the Ganyeta? fireplace? Ganyeta, what would you like to do now? So, just to be clear, there was nothing in this room of interest, right? I mean, it's a sitting area with a fireplace. I'm Wait. just going to... Wait, that makes no sense. Why is there a fireplace here? To be nice and cozy. We're on the, we're on the third floor. Was there a chimney that lit up here? You know there's not a fireplace under it. You do know that. Hmm. I wish to do some more close investigating of the fireplace. I will do the guidance of the thingies and the whatnots and the he gets the guidance and the, the thingies and the that. Okay. All right, I read you want to do another roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make an intelligence check. On top of the D4. Um, you know you had keys. You got them from Foxglove. Yeah, that's why we're looking around. I assume we'd like need to unlock a door or something in here, but I haven't seen it. I haven't heard of it keyhole described to me yet. Is there a keyhole in the like, fireplace? Somewhere? Hold on. Uh, there's one of the keys that you have has a lion's head uh -huh. on the bronze key. Okay. While you're looking at this um, fireplace, you can see a lion's head on either side of the fireplace. I see. Well, since my uh, detect magic isn't telling me anything, I'm going to do the only thing that makes sense in this situation, and I'm going to beat the key over the fireplace. I kid. <laughs> I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna start, like, groping around for a hole to insert the slot in. I'm heading upstairs, by the way, as well. I was just kind of sitting here in the stairwell waiting. <laughs> You see Alex looking at the lions and the fireplace. Gosh darn it, Irie. Slug <laughs> opened the door. I did not mean to. I was trying to move my fucking token. That's why I immediately shut it. I'm like, I'm not supposed to see what's in there. Oh, I don't care. Yeah! There is a young lady. Uh, tight spread eagle... Not wearing clothes to the bed. No. What? Slugga, make an intelligence check. <laughs> Even more so now. He opened the door, saw her, and said, Oh, wrong room, and closed the door. <laughs> it's like literally doing a double take. He like closed it and like thought about it. I'm like, wait, what the fuck did I just see? Uh, intelligence <laughs> check. Well... Never mind. You see a naked young lady. Wrong room. Sorry. Alex is just like <laughs> sitting there groping around this fireplace. You guys find anything? Yeah, there's a naked lady tied up on this bed over here. 
Okay, yeah, but seriously, what did you find? There's a naked lady tied up on this bed over here. <laughs> Can you get up? Tell Slug and stop lying. Is the door really closed? All right, I'll, I'll, he closed it. You can you can open either one. Yeah, Alex like whips around after you close the door, and Alex just yells, "Ganyetta, tell Slug to stop lying!" And he looks back to the fireplace, trying to fumble around for a keyhole. Do you wish to open the door? Uh, I'm hey, gonna. Alex, I'm not lying though. Like, well, I guess I did because I. That changes like, nothing twice. about what I said. Okay. Good uh, luck with whatever you're doing. Uh. I didn't see anything though, right? Yeah, that's true. So what are you gonna do? You can open it and see if he's lying. I'm I'm gonna first look at Slugger and say, did you really see somebody in there? Was was it human or was it undead? I don't know, it looks vaguely familiar. But they're tied down on that bed and that I'm still processing what I just saw. Yin! Uh, Alex looks over his shoulder. Yin. Yin! Kink shame him! Kink shame him now! And he turns back to the fireplace. Where is this? It, it did keyhole? look like silk rope, too. Slugger, that's disgusting. How could you? Thank you, Yin! How could I what? what of course, darling. So what are you doing, Ganyetta? Oh, it's on me. Yes, it's went around. It's back to you. Uh. D d did she look in distress? Uh, should we? <sighs> I. I'll be honest. I don't even. I didn't even mean to open the door when I came up here. I kind of like stumbled into it a little bit and just swung open. And I think my brain, my arms moved faster than my brain did because the first time around, I like just closed it before recognizing what I saw, and I popped it open again, looked and closed it again because I don't know what to process or do. Uh. I'm a little bit tired still, you see. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You want to deal with that? I reuse the fireplace lit. Not at the moment, no. Okay, can, uh, can I try groping inside of the fireplace? Sure. Alright. You want to just, like, wait for you to describe something or make a roll or... You can roll. Alright. Roll your investigate again if you want. It's not too bad. Kanyeto, what are you doing? Uh, you get nice and sooty. Oh well. I'm sort of watching Alex because I don't want two things. I don't want to deal with two things at once. So I'm waiting for Alex to get done with his little investigation of the of the uh, fireplace and just sort of hoping that maybe this whole situation with well. We'll deal with that in a moment. Can I come over here and declare the help action on top of my guidance? Yeah, or you can search. <laughs> mm, investigation? Or perception. Or perception. I mean, if I spill your... guidance, I'll roll 1d4. Uh, 26. Oh yeah, I'll just... There's nothing that you can see inside the fireplace other than it's getting you really dirty. I mean, that can be fixed. Okay, I'll look mm. on the outside. <laughs> They're cute lions. <laughs> we should get some of these for the chest. Uh, that might be a good idea. Be gone, Phil. Anyway, uh, can I, like, compare the lion heads to the one on the key? They look alike. Do either of the lions have, like, a, a keyhole in their mouth? I don't know. Roll perception. <laughs> Darn it, I'm bad at perception. Hmm. Find like... somebody who isn't. <laughs> I'm not I'm not bad at perception. Can I cast guidance on myself instead? You already looked. You didn't find it, did you? I looked on the outside. I didn't look in anything's mouth. See, I'm good at perception, just not investigation. So I could take a look. Well, come guidance over and look. Guidance on myself. What What are you guys looking at over here? Like, what? I what, will I'm trying also... to find what the hell this consonant key is going to. 
Well, uh, what God damn it! Me? Flash roll one D, the D four. Um, <laughs> Eleven. Slugger, the lion's head on the left. You think you can get a key down its throat into possibly a lock? Hey, so that line on the left needs to deep throat that key. <laughs> done and done. Move, honey. Oh. I figure you you probably got some kind of experience with this, so yeah, good luck. More than you ever will. There we go. I don't know. We were going for a while last night. You only went for about an hour. I'm just saying. Only an hour that you know about. All right, what happens with the, with so the I was line? awake the whole time. What do you mean? Uh, the panel above the fireplace in the mantle swings down. Wait, what? You see... Uh, I'm going to back up behind the couch. There's a bag, uh, a wooden case, and some kind of thin book under the wooden case. Probably more of my sister's smut, but just to be in case, my detect magic is still going. Is anything magical happening? No. I see. Well, exhibiting completely undue caution, Alex is going to put both of his hands on his hips triumphantly, look at Slugga, and then he points at the box. Slugga, kill. <laughs> it's not alive. Not with that attitude. What? Boy. I mean, I'll take a look at the box and see what's up with it look it's this it, it, or yin is going to complain at you for not searching for traps there's a shallow wooden case and there's a bag and then under the shallow wooden case is a thin book i'll check since you're yelling at me about it alex rude i, I will check for traps i alex guess will then pat slugger on the head thank you it'd be really funny if i didn't find anything i just fucking explode i'm assuming that's perception or uh, investigation. Or... Let's see, I don't know. Do you Why are you guys paper? asking me to check for traps? I get a fucking zero for investigation. <laughs> because you're supposed to have I... thieves tools per... Yeah, yeah thievery. <laughs> oh, okay, well then we'll do that. You find you all zero find traps. What? You don't find any traps. Yeah, I was basically joking. It's like, you find all zero traps. Yeah. All right, so let's let's take a look. What's in these then? What? Why are we? It's a box in a bag. I just want to be in the back clapping and going, "Oh my God, Slugga, you did such a great job! Wonderful, wonderful!" So I will purposely job. put traps on these boxes and bags just to fuck with you all. <laughs> if I don't least... know what I can use for it, but I will find a way. I will just load it up with meat sticks. And they will rot and they'll smell bad and it'll be a stink trap and all of you No they won't it. because I will fucking devour those. You're gonna devour meat sticks, you say. Hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, Alex knows all about that. If only you yeah. hadn't impregnated Sammy and she could be here for this. <laughs> Whack. Anyways, right. what's in the box? What is in the box? So what's you're the pulling box? the box out or are you pulling the bag out? Why not both? I don't like how you asked that question. I'm just testing. Which are you getting first? Gives on both. Which one is strangling Alex first? Yes. <laughs> Which do you pick up? The box, I guess. Okay. You pick up the box. Uh, it feels light. When you open it, uh, there seems to be a number of papers inside it. How many numbers? Like, enough that it shouldn't be that light? Well, paper in general is light. Not a bunch of paper. Given that it's a small box, yeah. So it's okay. just sheaves of empty paper, or do they have text on them? Give me a second. Okay. 
He said, God damn, shut the fuck up and I'll tell ya. Don't worry, Ari, I got you. I can read between the lines. <laughs> There is one of them. It's under Kane discussion, and I will be right back. Know all men and women, present and future, that we, the members of the Brothers of the Seven, upon this day, the sixth Abadeus of the year 4624, Absalom Reckoning, hereby concede and by this deed confirm upon Borel Foxglove provisional ownership of the holding to be known here and henceforth as Foxglove Manor. Located north of Magnamar on the Lost Coast Road, due west of Bleak, Bleak Low Moor, upon the promontory, for as long as he, Morel Foxlow, shall live, or so long as his direct descendant shall live, to a period not to extend 100 years. That's oddly specific. Construction of Foxlow Manor, having been financially financed partially on the holdings and coin of Morel Foxlow to the amount of 6 and 60%. And partially upon the coffers of the Brothers of the Seven to the amount of the remainder, four and thirty percent, backed by collateral in the form of the Seven Sawmill, located itself upon Kyver's Islet of Magnamar, shall ensure only the physical and initial construction of the aforementioned manor, with any subsequent repair and maintenance to the sole responsibility of Borough Foxglove or his descendants, or the aforementioned period of one hundred years. Upon the passing of this time, on the date of the sixth Albais. Of 4724, Absalom Reckoning, ownership of Foxglove Manor to include all lands within a mile around and below, immediately and forevermore reverts to the Brothers of the Seven. With the employment of the manor, its gar its grounds, and all improvements placed upon it by any prior inhabitants to be subject to the Brotherhood's discretion, and so that our gift, concession, warranty, acquaintance, and defense have the best peripheral for perpetual strength and security. We have affixed Magnamar's seal to the present charter, which shall serve in lieu of signatures the names of the Brotherhood to remain apart from this or any other document. Magnamar, for freedom can never be lost. Founded 4608AR. In addition to that, you find a number of uh, legal documents for the townhouse, so uh, you have the townhouse deed, you have Foxglove's Manor's deed, and now you've learned of a group called Brothers of the Seven. And the star thing's a seven-pointed star, ain't it? The star symbol mm. we've been seeing. Yep. Is a seven mm. Oh. You Upon reading all, all of that, Alex is going to put everything back neatly into the box. He's going to seal the lid. He's going to put it on the chair, which he currently sits. He's going to move to Yen. Yen, we have an apparently egregious offense with which we have to avail ourselves. Yen. <laughs> Can you not hear me? I, I didn't hear you before. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, what's that? But I had, you know, food in my mouth, so. She thought it. <laughs> well, you No, I said it out loud. It just got rid of the whole, like, in character of me having a mouthful of food thing. Right. Well, Yin, we are apparently now multiple property owners, in addition to our very own haunted lich house. And then Alex is going to, if she permits it, dip and kiss her. And then bring her back up. Aww. So this is what success tastes like. <laughs> I, I wish I had my lady friend here for something. But alright. Show off. The joys of a relationship. Wait. So, you have your lady. She's back at the house. Relationship? Yes. Sammy. As we've all agreed. Uh, <laughs> not not Sammy. Sammy. Sammy's just a, just, just a friend. That's the joke. Now then, what's in the sack? Children. Who picks up the sack? Alex picks up the sack. <laughs> I don't like how <laughs> that question. Every time. You hear the clink of coins. There is Coin. nothing in here at all. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. I'll even roll deception for this, even though I have no intention of actually lying. 
It's a four pound bag. There's nothing in this at all. <laughs> is that an insight for seeing if someone's lying? Uh, I believe that is insight, yes. <laughs> there is nothing in this at all. Yeah, that that clinking noise and the four pounds that's weighing Alex to one side now. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming he shook the bag and he could. There was clinking of coins, and I'm standing right next to the fireplace. I'm assuming I heard that. Your insight not. says otherwise. <laughs> well, anyhow, what do you do with the bag? Alex just kind of looks into it, looks at the rest of the group, and says. There is nothing in this at all. Gunny is gonna just grab. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> What's Alex, in the book? Alex falls prone. <laughs> what book? The thin book that was under the wooden box. I haven't picked up the book yet. All right. Okay. Gunny, what do you do with the bag? I'm gonna just look in the in the bag and. Just... <laughs> Take an inventory of how much it is. There's 200 platinum pieces. Oh shit, we're rich again! Nice. He's right, there's nothing in the bag! And she's gonna stuff it down her throat. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Damn it! I didn't believe Alex! <laughs> Gotta roll deception, Mom! I can't I'm kidding, wait I'm for the, I can't wait for the palin of the deception roll of like twenty three. <laughs> okay. Do I really do that? Yeah. You're okay, the one doing it. Chairs. You're the one that said there's nothing oh! to the Hey And as I as I do I don't that, believe I... either of them, of course, but I will not say anything. <laughs> I didn't have the time to count the money, so I'm just going to say nothing as Kenyatta stumps it down, sure, or whatever. And then I'll look at the book. Uh, this is a ledger. The majority seem to be mundane entries, but there are several near the end, uh, about a dozen of them, over the past three months, labeled Aisha's Trip to Absalom each indicating that he paid someone referred to as B7 200 gold a week for her trip, dropping over, dropping off the payment every oath day at midnight at a place called the Seven Sawmill. So, take it for what you will. Well, I've already heard this sawmill reference two times, so that seems like a decent place to look. Otherwise, by the way, and yet, what on Desna's Earth was in this room? Desna's heaving bosom! What is that? What? And uh, the person <laughs> seems to wake up at your shouts and goes, Alex? Terrestrial, what are you doing in here? Who tied That's you your up? sister. What? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> What? My sister isn't a tiefling. Well, that's what you put out for her image. I that that was for a book character that she wrote. That's the only thing I had to go on. <laughs> so you're telling me that my sister is spread eagle on this bed? Mm -hmm. I up wasn't still, lying. Still broke. Naked. Oh, okay. Dear. Let me rephrase. Desna's heaving bosom, Frau, well, what are you doing here? No wonder there's so many of your books around. There's me that. I take off a, like, <laughs> gag. I don't think she had a gag. She said your name. Not anymore, she doesn't. <laughs> I've been hanging with Fox Club and Anyhow. Nice to see you again. For how long? Those were shape changes. And not the pretty kind either. Alex, 
Alex, Jeez, I think she heavens she and was to My character pulls out his robe hastily from his pack, and then he, like, attempts to clothe and preserve the modesty of his sister, who is now spread eagle for the rest of the group, sans Gangeta, who's gone missing. There she is. <laughs> uh, there are blankets and things, too, so... My character's in a panic, he doesn't care. I also just want to, like, sit in this corner over here and think about the fact that she said she's here for research. She's tied to a bed naked, spread eagle, and there were shapeshifters downstairs. Malicious shapeshifters. Mm-hmm. Has she been boning the shapeshifters? That is the question currently going through my head. What is her question you're Jamie's posing to my she mentioned, yes. she mentioned foxglove, so you would assume that that's who she thought she was boning. Alex. What? She said she would care for research. Oh. And? You know the kind of books she's been writing. And? I think she's been sleeping with, and I do air quotes, box glove. Nonsense. My sister would never do such a nefarious thing. Now, before you attempt to slander her any further, someone help me untie these ropes. I'll help him untie his sister. Do you do you have any clothes? You know, Alex, Alex, the, the bed's kind of wet, sort of like Slugga's was this morning. Ugh. I look at Alex. Certainly it's just sweat because, you know, she was trying to get out. Absolutely. Odd place to be sweating. Sure is. She's tied to the bed. They wouldn't let her go to the bathroom. Nope, nope. Wrong color. <laughs> Wet all looks the same color. Good not heavens. White on black False box club couldn't even have the decency to not try tempted to file you in certainly non-sexual ways. Be gone, filth! <laughs> Why are you talking to your sister like that? What are you talking he's, about? He's, he's begotting filth of the cum on the sheep slugger. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was... <laughs> I was making a joke, because he's been making a bunch of sex jokes, because that's about the best one I could think of off the top of my head. You're Hold on, get off of my shoulders. Now. <laughs> not on your shoulders, you're in the corner of the room. No, I'm no not. he's not. He's at his sister's feet, and you're just, like, standing on him trying to get a better view. <laughs> I am not trying to do that. He is in the corner of the room for me, that's why I was standing there. <laughs> Good heavens, Frawa, how long have you been here? How has Mother not tried to kill these shapeshifters yet? What shapeshifters? The ones downstairs. The ones we just murdered. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been here with Foxglove. For how they long? What's in Foxglove? They've been disguised as Foxglove Several in... Several months. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, you poor lady. Poor, poor lady. You've been held captive by faceless... Who's been held captive? You! With the ropes! Alex, you always were the innocent one. I can physically point at the corpses downstairs, don't you lady? I'm gonna look over at Slugga and just mouth the word confusedly. Innocent? Is it? <laughs> Is what? I, I, I don't know what creatures you found. They, they Foxglove. All, All right. Had, had left for the day, you know? Left for the day. We murdered him two weeks ago. Be fair, he wasn't him then either, though. Yeah, he was a ghoul back then, so I don't, I don't think that was him either. Right. Incidentally, long story. Let's get a meal in you. I don't know. How, hmm? Do you have a fever? No. I have a stab Just... wound, but other than that, I'm fine. Should I? Do you want me to see it if she needs medical attention, Alex? No, I do not want my sister being misdiagnosed as pregnant. Let's just. My character holds out his hand for I'll his do it anyway. to take. We'll let Alex roll a percentage dice. <laughs> and also. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that bet. I'll... I still have uh, guidance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wow. Hey, remember, you got important. You could turn that into a one if you wanted to. 
don't know. One, I don't know. Was, I don't know. If one is a positive or a negative result. I'm <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking number to roll in such a time. <laughs> Just casually roll a sixty-nine for my own characters, but <laughs> potential pregnancy would shake malicious shapekeepers. Nuts. <laughs> All right, Annie, first and foremost, somebody needs to roll a d6 for this lady. Oh, you can. It doesn't bother me. Well, I don't roll it. Oh, okay, so she's just like her brother. Magically hides her fertility. Got it. That's what I assume yeah. on ones with his family from now on. <laughs> That's the thing. Magically it's it. hidden fertility. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some fucking passive shit you guys have with your race or something. I don't know. Um, Should well, we check these other doors for maybe a closet and some, you know, clothing? Oh, I mean, once you release her, I mean, she's not bashful. She'll just go around, pick up some clothes out of the dresser and, and go into the bathroom beside Sluga and put them on. Okay, but I still have my medical check. Is she pregnant? I don't like the roll. absolute silence and hesitation thing. Roll your check. I already rolled it. I rolled a 26. I thought you rolled a 23. I had guidance still. Uh. Harry's having to check himself now and debate whether or not this is the route we want to take. He's trying to decide if 69 is worthy enough to call her pregnant or not. <laughs> <laughs> He does have this weird expression on his face. It's oh, triplets. okay, hold on. She seems fine to me. I don't like that. I don't see any wounds. There's no bruising on her ankles or her wrists, so it doesn't seem as if she was fighting. And you've played the tied up game before too, Yen, so you understand. Yeah. Facts. So, oh, Fa Wa, uh, it's nice to see you once, although the circumstances certainly could have been better, but uh, we need to have a conversation about how you got the incredible specifics about our last misadventures. Well, Aldrin, of course. Now, you see, that would be a viable explanation if Aldrin was not in any way, shape, or form involved with anything involving Dualia. All I can tell you is he came to the st I He came brought me stories about your adventures. He said he met you in Sandpoint. That is much as true. But now I must advise you, young lady, you are not to date any more stalkers, especially not any of mine. <laughs> oh, silly. He's a good lay, but that's not the one I'm going to marry. Well, he's going to be doing a lot of laying down for the next eternity. I don't know. Like I said, he just left this morning. If you say so. Well, uh, I'm going to escort you out, and in the event of any unfortunate happening, I'm going to have you tell you now that uh, should anything unfortunate happen, I can terminate it now, or, well, Mother can perform one of her late-term abortions. Off we go then. Tell you. Sorry, he was answering a question of mine. Oh my bad.
So there's two doors left for you. I'll come over here and open this one. Another study. Yeah, I'll check it out. Same study. All right, Can I do perception or investigation in here? The books are kind of interesting to you, but you know you don't figure Alex will like them. Interesting. Okay. Is it perception or investigation? What are the, what are the books? Softcore. Oh, it's her study. Got it. I'll just close the door. What is this? I don't know. Okay. Trust me, there's very little on this house in general. It gave me a house, but it didn't give me any details other than about the fireplace. Gotcha. Well, back down the stairs then. So, for a while, you've been here for months. How has Mother not come and just tore down this entire establishment trying to get you back by this point? She's already tried to kill this woman. My character well, points I, to you. I come and go as I please. Oh. So you're not being killed, Captain yet? No. Hey, can I He's look just real... a fun lay. Can I look real quick in this outbuilding? Sure. Before we leave. For the corpse is still there as we're basically passing the threshold. Uh, they both died where she couldn't see them. Should we go back inside and show off real quick just to prove we're telling the truth? I mean, that's up to you. My it, as, as, far, as far as she's concerned, he left this morning and wasn't coming back till that evening. So, you know, as far as she's concerned, you know, you've let something in the house if, if you want to go that route. What is it going to take to convince your sister we're telling the truth? Because right now... It... Her birthing its child? Go, oh, well... That's unfortunate, but I guess that's the path she's going to have to take. <laughs> hey, Alex, congrats on being an uncle. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. I have but, now decided to you know, be worried about it. Like, like I said, it, and you know that Foxglove had went back and forth between Magnamar and Sandpoint. So, for all you know, that that's when she found actually met him so Disney help me I make it to kill Fox Glove a third time and, <laughs> and you guys got you know when you were in town you know it, it's not like your deeds were a secret so the stories would go around town so he just picked them up and passed them on to her hey Alex hmm? what if there's seven Fox Gloves both and I'd say we're going to be patently busy ending an ent his entire masquerade line, I suppose. So what would you like to do now? Well, I suppose I'm going to see my sister off. Alex will basically walk up to his sister. I fix both of her shoulders with his hands. He's like, sister, you, tr you know that I truly do care for you. And I want you to know... And I'm going to kill Foxglove as many times as it takes. And you're free to sit here as many times as you want, because technically we now have the deed to the house. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to say here, but, uh... Try to pick your researchers more diligently. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go solve a heinous murder plot. And I'm going to, try, going to attempt to give her a hug. Silly boy, come by for dinner. Her mom misses you. Oh, yes, yes. The only thing she has... <coughs> the only thing mom's missing these days is trying to kill my taken woman. You know how she is. Yeah, speaking of that, if you could, like, maybe put in a word about not doing that, that'd be great. Good luck with that, Yin. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk to my sister, that's... My character is basically walking off. Typical Alex running from his problems. Okay, no, but seriously, if you could talk to Murder your mom about maybe not killing me. 
easier said than done, but you know, we'll put a good word for you. Thanks. He is the baby though. No oh, god. <laughs> Uh, so why uh, the why are why aren't you married yet? That's Victoria Anderson, <laughs> you know it. Oh, very few of us are married. So we oh. own this house now, right? Basically, like we we have the deed yeah. to it in Foxglove Manor. But it did so we say own the house that. Now, right? And it did... Foxglove Manor's deed says it reverts to the Brotherhood after a hundred years. Such a shame, we're apparently going to this strange sawmill, which is our next lead, where we're presumably going to kill them. Yeah. They can't take control if they're not alive. I could raise a family in hell, even this townhouse, but raising a family in Mayo would be kind of nice. You're going to need more rooms for that. Uh, At least Alex small. is getting out. He was too sheltered before. Do you think that, at the very least, she could wait to kill me until after your niece or nephew is born? Has he told her that yet? Has my character told Frawa that he's basically had laid with a woman and produced a child? No. Well, he, she's asking Ian, so... If he's told his mother that yet? Yeah. When I read your letter to your mom, did it mention it? I don't think we knew I was pregnant then, though, right? Uh, it did not mention that you were pregnant. It mentioned that you were a druidess and that you were his taken woman. You know, he never said that I shouldn't mention it. Uh, I am not sure. I don't think so. You might want to leave that one out. Oh, okay. She might decide just to take it. What do you mean, take it? Well, she doesn't necessarily need you. But I don't think she would let it run around. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe leave that out then. If you don't mind. Then I'll keep, you know, your similar predicament to myself as well. She'll just look strangely at you and like, uh, he's getting away, honey. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't move very fast. I'll catch up. No haste, I'll go. <laughs> Fish is how much? <laughs> Alrighty. righty. Shall we? Yeah, we'll get call it. I was going to say, this would be a great time to end it, if any. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, this was fun. Also, I did hear back from Sin um, uh, about two hours ago. I just didn't catch it until a little bit ago. Sure. Um, her son is sick and has the newest COVID strain, which is oh, why she was no. not here. Oh, no. Yikes. Yeah, the poor baby. Hopefully he feels better. Set of circumstances for my character to happen upon. <clears throat> yeah. Initially, I thought it was just like the character my my uh, character's sister had basically been using as reference. And so I was like, Terrestria, what are you doing here? He's like, no, it's your sister. Oh, oh that's a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> and you might want to. Lordy. She's been partying with Foxglove for several months now. At this point, I just feel like that guy in SpongeBob who's just like, how many times do I have to kill Foxglove? I was like, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, Foxglove? Oh, well. Thanks for the game, Irie. What, uh, <laughs> what a roller coaster of nonsense that's been. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Alrighty then. We'll see you all. See about Hello. continuing next week. You guys have a good night, but I have news to tell the mom oh. and dad. You guys don't yes. have to stay here for that if you don't want to, but. Yeah, I'm pregnant. I just don't want them to run off. Absolutely not.